Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar Town Gaming. Today we are I'm starting a new series called Is It Worth It? So what this is is we're gonna talk about certain things um that you can get and just to see if it's worth it. So here is a um one one thing that a lot of people are like, uh, oh, let's go and go to Cerrado and go farm the Colovian War Tort recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Cerrado <clears throat> and we're going to go to a pretty heavy campaign. Um, now, from my understanding, I believe people have said that there's only one tort that drops and it's every day. Now, I'm not sure how accurate that is. But, um, I mean, let's see. So you guys are going to see if it's, if this is worth it to, to actually go into Cerrado and farm for it, or if it's just worth it to get your money and just buy the recipe in itself. Um, <clears throat> basically let the PVPers, the PVP do their thing and Hey, if they get a recipe, they get a recipe. Um, and then you can buy it from them. So obviously, this is on PC right now. Console prices are going to be extremely different, um, depending on what platform you are, PS4 and A, you know, whatnot, um, and so on. So we do have a Cyrodiil treasure map. Um, so let's go to Fort Ash, for example. And let's start there. And basically what you do is you're going to go look for nodes. You're going to look for nodes. They spawn in nodes. So there we go. We're going to go here. There's a camp over here. <clears throat> now I have a feeling that this is going to be interesting. So the best thing to do is you're going to want to like go around like on this side of the map. Um, there's not really a good place to go for these nodes. You just kind of, um, have to go look at it. Now, the, what are these people doing? The war tort is going to be a greenish node. Um, I, these guys are killing these gates. So, as you can see, there is... Yay, we killed him. <laughs> we killed the dude. Oh, he knows. You have taken revenge against Fluffy. <laughs> so I got first revenge. Anyways, so this is this is some of the things you're gonna encounter here. Now you can look at specific nodes or you know like M stool or you can look at just try to find that like greenish light node that uh, it could be here. So I'm going to show you guys, um, I'm going to show you what to look for, really. Um, e there's the little braziers that are in PvP land that you can see. There's a red just chilling over here. So I like to look in heavily wooded areas like this. And I wish I could show you what they actually look like. <clears throat> it's also best to, um, I mean, I don't, I don't have it, but it's also best to go right here and put keen eye on 
because that's going to help. If you want to go this route, I personally, I'm going to tell you right now, spoiler alert, this isn't the way. Um, but <clears throat> some people are very hard-headed and they don't want to pay prices for it. They just rather farm it. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just think the time that you're going to be caught farming this stuff is going to be a little bit worse than if you just farm something else, sell that stuff, and then turn that into a clothing war tort recipe. Just saying. Alright, so you guys see these little braziers at night? Um, a lot of people mistake this for the actual recipe, like in the, cause it's has like a little green glow. You'll see it. You'll see it. Like you'll know exactly what it is. Cause it has a green glow. Eh. Might as well, you know, do do your stuff here. You can get cold fire stuff from, um, like, this is, if you're going to do this, then you might as well do these dolmens. You get cold fire stuff from it. And then you can, um, you can sell those for, for some decent money. I'm not, I'm not saying decent, decent, but, like, you can, it, you can probably get a grand. Out of like a cold fire thing. Right. We're going to close this. That one is is up as well. <laughs> that lich is just chilling there. Okay. Oh, I actually got a name freaking thing. Get these bingkins first. And this is just the kind of thing that would happen here that I get ganked. So this is something you can do if you decide to go the route. You can definitely hit dolmens. You're gonna get some cool gear out of it. So here's the thing. And if you know where the chests are, then that's something cool to get as well. Uh, don't. So you could, if, if you're in PC at least, uh, I saw a guy right there. I saw a guy right there. Stop right there, stranger. This is our claim. Hey, this is our treasure. Stop right now. What? Oh, dude, I did not know. <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen this. 
That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I've never seen... <laughs> I've never seen these guys in serial say, stop, this is our mound. That's kind of interesting. Um, so anyways, is it worth it? No, because you're going to be basically running around like a chicken cut off and trying to find nodes in Cyrodiil. So the best thing that you could do is, oh, well, we're going to go die real quick and we're going to go look at the prices. So you can kind of see what you have to sell to get that situated. So hopefully we can die here. Actually, I could go to Blasters. We're really close to it. But... Okay. Way shrine. And then the best place to, to go is probably, you know, just to get a feel for it. You're always going to find, um, you're always going to find your stuff that you need. And, and places like Mournhold, Wayrest, and, and Gratwood, those are the three main capital cities. And there's always going to be very good traders there. You could always check Alinor, Vivek, Rimen, uh, Solitude, Markarth. But those are going to be a little bit lower tier than your three capital traders. However, um, sometimes you can find better deals in those places. But for example, the Elder Scrolls Exchange. So this is, we're going to go find, we're going to go find the Colovian War Tour. Start search. <clears throat> so obviously you can see like these sell for pretty decent price, like five ninety nine a piece. It's okay. Um, they're not the best, but uh, you can always go to Tamriel Trade Center to actually see who has the recipe. And right now it's showing me that. The Elder Scrolls Exchange had this recipe two hours ago, so it's not there anymore. Um, there's one way rest and the Conquest of Tamriel, so that's that's one of my guilds. It has a recipe as well. May I help you? You have business here. There you go. Why is it not? There you go. All right. So here is the war tort recipe. Obviously, you could probably get it for one mil ish. Um, there's. There's one right now in Wayrest that's like 1.09. Um, obviously, in places like Deshaun, these are going to be a little bit more expensive. But other than that, like you're going to be better off farming for this um, in other ways. So what you do is, you know, there's tons of ways to make money in this game. Um, doing your writs and then just sell gold stuff like tempering alloys, uh, draw wax, all that stuff. Um, so basically at that point, this is the best route to go to when you're buying this Colovian war tort. Um, in, in PC, this is a mill in PlayStation 4 and a, they go for about seven to 900 K. Um, you can probably find a very good deal in, you know, zone chat every once in a while for those, 
but it's usually anywhere from 700 to a mil. You'll probably find them at a mil on in, in a guild trader um, or somewhere in that range. So is it worth it to farm the Colombian War Tour? No, it's not. The best way to farm this Colombian War Tour is to do something else to make money to get that one mil. Now, if you're an avid PvPer that is a PvP nut, you live in PvP land, then you might actually benefit more from actually farming that recipe while you're doing other PvP stuff. Because most likely, you're gonna stumble upon it at some point in time. Now, if you're one of those people that cannot wait, I would definitely suggest this other route to just, you know, sell the stuff that you get in PvP land, sell your AP, whatnot. Triune is very nice right now. Um, and if you're an Imperial City nut, Hikejus still sell well. So if those kind of things you can, you can do. But uh, if you stumble upon another one, hell, sell it, you know, sell it. You never know. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see content just like this, and like I said, this is a brand new edition of Is It Worth It? Then um, just, you know, follow the channel and have a good night.